Okay friends, now let us talk about another very important technique of how we can track a protein inside a cell. This is called epitope tagging mechanism. So in this epitope tagging mechanism, as the name suggests, we can tag a protein in such a way that this protein uh, would contain uh, an antigenic determinant or epitope. And we can use the property of this protein as it is attached with antigenic determinant to triangulate the position of the protein inside a cell. And we can also detect the presence of the protein uh, in, the, in, in the cell using different immuno uh, techniques or immuno blotting trick techniques. Okay. So how can we tag a protein using an antigenic determinant? So if, if suppose we need to express a particular protein. In this case, it is the protein, a light green colored protein. And you need to express this protein. And what we want to do, after the expression of the protein, a cell contains different types of protein. So we need to triangulate the position of this protein. And the activity, we need to measure the activity of the protein. We need to track the single activity that this protein uh, do inside the cell. To know that, we definitely need to have a marker inside it which is helping us which will help us to understand all these mechanisms and for uh, for our purpose we can tag them with an antigenic determinant because when we tag it with an antigenic determinant uh, Antigenic determinant has specific properties of uh, attaching, uh, of specific properties of attaching with antibodies on different types of antibodies and uh, so it, it has a uh, property of cross-linking uh, these anti antibodies together. So that, thus if we can add this epitope uh, in, in with this protein that can give us the advantage to study uh, the, the location of this protein to triangulate the position of the protein inside the cell. So what we can do, we need to go back to, uh, to the origin of this protein that means uh, the gene sequence or the sequence of DNA through which uh, after the transcription protein is made. So if we look at this DNA structure we can find the protein of our interest is uh, coded by the region of this this is a pink color region uh, which code for uh, the protein of our interest and right we what we can do we can add uh, an extra stretch of uh, gene sequence right after the protein of our interest and this extra uh, part of genes you can make a protein sequence in such a way that they will be an antigenic determinant so we know that if we add this segment of the DNA, if we add this segment of the DNA, this segment of the genetic information with uh, right next to this uh, protein of our interest coding gene, uh, then we can add an extra stretch of amino acid sequence with that protein which will help the protein to be tagged with this uh, antigenic determinant. So we will do this, we will add this part and after addition of this part, now this whole protein production after the expression of this gene will be controllable by us. So we, we can control this, we can locate this uh, by immuno localization techniques uh, using antibodies to tag this protein or you can use antibodies to cross link this protein in a particular location and you can also purify this protein rapidly using affinity chromatography as we know. We can purify them using affinity chromatography and different protein sorting techniques. So by tagging this protein we have several multiple uh, applications or several multiple positive sites uh, of determination okay